All right, I'm just making one more video to show how you can get spectacular accuracy and precision out of your analog to digital conversion on an Arduino for about $13 of additional investment. Um, cutting to the chase, the way that this is achieved is by feeding the Arduino with a precision external voltage reference. And then in combination with that in the code, averaging the values that come back from the um, analog read method, which is a mathematical way of providing a low pass filter. Um, all right, so what we have here is a um, precision voltage reference that uh, I purchased on eBay for about $13. And it can produce uh, precise voltage outputs at four different ranges. Um, I'm currently using the 5 volt range, which is producing a 4.99877 volts output, I believe. Um, feeding that into the AREF pin on the um, Arduino, I'm using the Nano every here, but this should work for any Arduino. So the voltage from the um, the voltage from this precision voltage reference board is fed uh, into the AREF pin. That's uh, this one here, that third pin down, uh, then the ground is over here. Um, and the way that I'm setting up this test is um, I've got uh, my fluke meter connected to measure the voltage, the downstream voltage from uh, one of two LEDs, either the red or the blue LED, and then that downstream voltage is fed through this blue wire into uh, pin 3 um, on the Arduino. That's the pin I have set up to take the uh, analog voltage in and convert that to a digital within the Arduino. And then um, I'll be moving this blue wire over here so we'll, we'll measure two different voltages. We've got two different downstream voltages from a blue LED and a red LED. Uh, they have uh, different forward voltage drop values, so um, we'll look at that. Um, and then um, I'll show you the code. So once again, to summarize how to maximize the accuracy of the analog to digital conversion on an Arduino, use a precise external voltage reference and use an averaging filter, which is a low pass filter on the values returned from the calls to analog read. And I'll show you how that's done right now. So. First, we set up some external uh, constants, um, uh, in external conditions, basically. Uh, external voltage reference, which is uh, basically I take taken from that yellow sticker on that uh, device I bought on eBay. It's 4.99877. Type that in. Um, I'm using uh, the ADC input pin 3, A3. Um, we have a bit depth on the Arduinos of 10 bits. And so that gives us an ADC step size of 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024 in this case. Um, and then the setup is simple. It's just um, set up the serial port at a certain baud rate. That'll be uh, used to send the output so we can look at the output voltage. And then there's this critical line right here where we set the analog reference to external. That tells the Arduino that we're going to be taking a external voltage and using that as the voltage reference for the ADC conversion. And then I just spit out the, the uh, external conditions, the VREF, bit depth, uh, ADC steps, that's the 1024. And then the, uh, the size of the steps, which is uh, basically this 4.99877 divided by the 1024, roughly 5 millivolts per step. And then moving on down to look at the, uh, the main loop. Um, I set up some um, variables, declare and set to zero. Uh, the volts that are going to be calculated, the total... Uh, that we're going to be averaging and then the average value and then the number of counts that we're going to be using for the averaging. Uh, within the loop I first delay by uh, one second so it's one second between reports uh, resetting the total and the average values to zero every time we come into the loop and here's the for loop where we take the um, uh, count of 100 values on the analog read from the ADC input pin total those up once we come out of the for loop we average that by Dividing that total by the count, that gives us our average ADC value. And we convert that ADC value um, by dividing by the um, ADC steps, which is the 1024, and then multiplying by the external VREF, which is uh, 4.99877 in this case. 
and it gives us the volts and DC volts. And then we print that out uh, to the serial port with uh, three decimal digits. And so looking at that, we're currently connected to the um, downstream of the red LED. And I'm going to just turn this so we can look at both the fluke meter and the output on the serial port from this um, Arduino sketch. So we're getting 3.617 to 3.612. There's that 5 millivolt uh, step size. So the only variability we see is by the step size. Um, and then the most common value is the 3.612. We're seeing on the Fluke 3.615. So we're off by 3 millivolts. So we're inside the step size um, in terms of the delta between the reported value from the Arduino and the value that we see on the Fluke. It's basically plus or minus 2 millivolts. I'm going to switch the connection now to the downstream of the blue LED. We'll look at what that voltage is. Give me one second here. And also changing the fluke leads to connect to that same port. We get uh, 2.804 on the fluke and 2.802, the 2.797. So there again, there's that 5 millivolt difference. Um, and most of the values are 2.802. So we're within 2 millivolts, uh, sometimes about 7 millivolts off. Uh, the only variability we see, once again, is that 5 millivolt step size, and most of the values are within 2 millivolts of what's being reported by the fluke. So there you have it. Um, you can achieve remarkably good accuracy and precision, that being the repeatability between values reported by the ADC from the Arduino by just feeding it an external voltage reference. And in this case, it's a $13 board that I got on eBay. Uh, let me just actually show you that link on eBay. This is the uh, this is the device the device and there's the price thirteen bucks. Um, it comes with the calibration sticker. That's the one you want so you can uh, know for sure what value to type in uh, to your sketch um, as the precise voltage reference that's coming out of the board. Um, okay, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching.